hello to my Virgos. This is Queen Amura coming to you with your general reading. Virgos, put together your gratitude list. Put together your gratitude list. Put together your gratitude list. What do you have to be grateful for? Write your list together. Put that list together. Put your list together. I believe your ruling planet Mercury is retrograde, so put together your list. Of what you have to be grateful for. I'm talking to you wherever Virgo is in your birth chart. Mercury is retrograde. Neptune is retrograde. Jupiter, Uranus, and Chiron are all retrograde. Mars is about to go retrograde. Um, if you're watching this video on the 3rd of December, it'll be going retrograde in three days. And that is um, Mars is the Tower card. Mars is the tarot card. Mm, 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 mm. The tides are turning in your favor, Virgos. You know, I'm praying over your cards, Virgos, before I turn this camera on. And um, talking to you wherever Virgo is in your chart. And the tower is about to fall on somebody's ex. I try to keep my vibrations high when I am reading cards, but the tower is about to fall real hard on somebody's ex. Let's get into your reading. Let's get right into your reading. It's about to fall real hard on somebody's ex. I'm about to break it down in the reading. Let's get into it. Let's get right into it. All right. try to be very detailed without giving letters of names. <laughs> uh, be very detailed without giving letters of names. Being detailed as I can. Take only what resonates with you, okay? Take only what resonates. Take only what resonates with you. Somebody's um, ex has done a lot of people dirty. They are not going to see where this tower is going to come from. They're not going to see where this tower is going to come from. But everything is about to be taken away from them. Everything. All right. Yep. Yeah, they're not going to see where this one is going to come from. So you sit comfortably on your throne. King of Swords. You got some good news coming. Page of Cups. King of Cups. They are a master manipulator. They are a master, master manipulator. They get great joy out of making people laugh one minute and cry the next. They get a great joy out of humiliating people. All right. Here we have the Five of Cups. Go ahead and put a manhole cover over the past because you're free. You can already just count it all joy. You've been working really hard. Get back to work. Just focus on your work right now. Just focus on your work. Just focus on working. Focus on work. Focus on work. <clears throat> Sit on your throne in your hermit shell. Your card is hermit. Card is hermit. Go back to your eating healthy. Go back to, um, you know, allowing your food to be your medicine. Go back to your task, you know, Virgos. Like I said, my Mercury is retrograde. Go back to, you know, knowledge and learning, reading your books. You know, go back to doing, doing what Virgos do. And I'm talking to you wherever Virgo is in your birth chart. Go back to putting your spreadsheets together. Go back to just like I said. Don't be. Don't sit around complaining about. Because complaining take a, that's the low vibrating side of Virgos. Go get rid of all of that. Get rid of all of that because it takes up way too much space. Get away from gossiping. All of that. Get into your hermit crab shell and put together your gratitude list. Put together your gratitude list. Get back on your throne. Get back on your throne. Go get your rest. Just get some rest. Get your rest. Yeah. 
you'll be able to defend your decision to move on from something without coming across as defensive. Matter of fact, increase your prayer life and your meditation life and start thinking open roads. Start thinking what the horizon looks like. If you could put together a list of things of like, okay, if you could put together an ideal list of like future planning of like what things would look like if you had not, um, there's an, uh, fire energy. You're, you're going to be free of a fire energy, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Um, you're going to be free of the energy who caused a lot of chaos and confusion in your life. You're going to be free of them. Um, they cause a lot of chaos, confusion, judgments, um, friction, and all of that. So what would life look like without that? If you could just kind of go back in your mind and just say, that's now complete. That's now complete. The number seven in numerology, actually, it, it would be like the tower card, right? So seven in the major arcana would be the chariot card. So take a moment, like, so the chariot card would be like a pause, like you're pausing and trying to decide, do I go high, do I go low, do I go light, do I go dark? Of course you're going to go light, right? So that would be like, okay, that connects us to the I feel sign. And so this is where you pour into yourselves, right? So find out what your moon sign is and then pour into yourselves, right? Also find out what your sign is in Jupiter because you're going to start thinking, okay, I'm thinking expansion. So I don't have room for anything that would limit what I'm trying to expand. So I'm thinking on the horizon, good luck, good fortune. So find out what your Jupiter is, right? Um, so I don't have time to limit myself with chaos, confusion, and all of that. What would my life look like? If I didn't have, if they did not bring chaos and confusion into my life, what would that look like, right? Because your life is about to change without them and what they did, okay? What would that look like? Don't think about if that's their sun sign, moon. It could be their sun sign. It could be their moon sign. It could be in the inner planets. You can go look up inner planets. If somebody brought a bunch of chaos and confusion into your life. Don't look at, oh, well, something must have happened to them and this and that and blah, blah, blah. That was a choice that they made. They made a choice to bring chaos and confusion into your life in some way, shape, form, or fashion. You can pray for them. But what would life look like if they had not brought all that chaos and confusion into your life? Then get some rest, right? Four of Pentacles, so that you can learn how to be more conservative with your time because you're about to switch teams. Knight of Pentacles and Four of Pentacles brings us to Three of Pentacles. You have worked too hard without all that chaos and confusion in your life, and you're trying to be a team player, but somebody brought a bunch of chaos and confusion into your life. So... Somebody brought a bunch of chaos into your confusion, into your life for whatever reason, because they were money hungry, because, you know, they were making something all about them. Something happened. Whatever the reason is, they're about to be exposed and removed. You're about to be free of them. Don't worry about how you're about to be free, but you're about to be free of the problem. Get on your throne the empress card because they have tried to limit your abundance and your prosperity in some way shape form or fashion so the empress card looks like a person who is about to give birth to something so um it could be your adult child it could be your adult children it could be the other parent it could be a sibling or siblings. It could be their side of the family. Whoever brought a bunch of chaos and confusion into your life, they are about to be exposed and removed. You'll be able to defend your decision to move on, but you got to first take some kind of action. Don't just sit there, Virgos, and just sit there. And be, I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting and being receiving mode. No. So it's just trying to help you to learn how to balance things out. That's why you have divine. That's why you got a sword. That is why you have a sword in your hand right here and using wisdom. That's why you have a sword. Think. 
You all are incredibly smart. Think. Get your rest. Think. That's why you're sitting on your throne. This is balance here. Think. Drink your water. Eat your healthy food. Okay, source, I need to cut the emotional ties. I need to think clearly. I do not need to be confused and I don't need to be spiritually dehydrated. Because dehydration could look like hunger. You're grabbing something that's unhealthy and you're not thinking straight. Eating low vibrational food. Now you're all over the place. I need to be on my throne. Because I, I don't need to be confused as to who it is. I need to be crystal clear as to who it is. Right? Because overflow is coming. Overflow is coming. You're about to cut ties. You're about to cut ties. Five and ace is six. Six connects us with Scorpio. We're not talking about any particular Scorpios, right? A Scorpio connects us with a death rebirth. Doesn't mean that somebody is dying, but something is about to end so that you can get to the rebirth side. Y'all see me shuffling the cards. I'm telling y'all, I had a full revelation before I even turned this camera on. I'm like, oh my God, I got to tell Virgo this. Something is about to end, and somebody's going to have a tower moment that for you, like, I've been I've been trying to, you know, i got to be careful about, like, well, all of readers got to be careful, because sometimes the videos don't even upload. We can't just say everything on YouTube. That's why people create Patreon accounts, because a lot of words and stuff can get flagged on YouTube. Um, but, yeah, after this, somebody is going to go back to, there's a, a nostalgia, because... The Six of Cups is about kind of sort of pulling from back your childhood. There's a loved one from your childhood that you used to look up to that um, after something has ended for them, they would come out of the house. You know, they still had to get themselves together and come out of the house, you know, still pull it together and still come out of the house, you know, get themselves together, you know, like um, after something has ended, whether a marriage has ended uh, friendship has ended, you know, people still got to pull themselves together, get ready for work. They can't come out the house, you know, looking like they, every, the whole world has fallen apart. You know, you still got to get it together, right? Um, you still got to adjust your crown. You can't just come, you know, out the house looking any old kind of way because you feel like stuff has, um, you know, but you're, you're going to be free of something. You're about to be free of something, right? Yep. He was had the seven of cups here. Because the lid about to be popped off some stuff. The lid is about to be popped off some stuff. Somebody's, somebody thought they got away with something, but they did not. They thought they got away with something, and they did not. Okay, so now take only what resonates with you. Well, take only what resonates with you in your reading, just period, right? This is not going to apply to everybody, but take only what resonates with you. Right. And by the way, for people who put negative comments under my videos, that doesn't matter to me. I'm not going to respond to that keyboard warrior mess. That, does, that doesn't affect me at all. Um, that energy goes right back to you. So if that's, if that's the bad karma you want, go ahead and keep putting negative comments under videos. It doesn't matter. Um, somebody's ex did so much horrible stuff to people that um, and I'm talking about your ex you're not somebody else's ex your ex did so much horrible stuff to people they thought they were covered by a lot of people around them but there's really no honor amongst these it's like in a bed of snakes that they thought would never be uncovered but the energy that's going to the energies that's going to uncover them all i can tell you virgo is that you've talked to somebody and they read between your lines that you've talked to somebody and they heard what you didn't say and they're going to be the one that's going to help you that's all i'm going to say They heard what you didn't say. Because 
judgment is coming down big time and it's coming down hard right put a manhole cover over it you see people assume it's one energy but it's another energy right it's a it's another energy right um so get your rest get your rest Because you will be moving on. You will be moving on from the disappointment. You will be moving on from the disappointment. See, you all are mutable signs. And mutable signs tend to kind of go along with the flow. But from now on, you will not be going along with the flow. You will not be going along with the flow. Source is trying to, it has been trying to push you back into your hermit shell. Um, to get back into a high vibrating um Virgo, which is, you know, because you've been around energy vampires, it's been just trying to drain you, trying to drive you to drinking, trying to get you on medication. That's why all this, that's why you got so much water poured out here. So if you're around a bunch of toxicity, gossiping, you know, you know, partying, drinking, talking to a bunch of toxic energies, trying to, you know, your irrigate and eye gate Virgos, then you don't know what to believe. You really don't know what to believe, right? It keeps you on a low frequency. When you're talking, people talk about, oh yeah, so and so moved away because such and such and such and such, all of this other stuff. You don't know what to believe. You really don't know what to believe. So it's saying, put go back in your go go back in your hermit crab shell mode while Virgo, I mean while um, Mercury is retrograde. Just sh just shut down. You're not available. Close for spiritual maintenance. Come off of social media, all that because you're going to hear some. T mm -mm. They're not gonna see where it's coming from. Oh my goodness. <laughs> they they not they I'm telling y'all, Mars is about to go retrograde. It's about to get crazy. 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 Your ancestors been trying to tell you. You had a lot of people in your ear about a lot of stuff. <sighs> about some people. Oh, they, they moved on quietly. They, they you know, like especially you hear about people who move on quietly. The assumption is when people move on quietly, they must have something to hide, right? Not necessarily. Because you want to learn how to move on quietly. But Source is saying... Um, And I mentioned this in my previous reading, but somebody's ex, oh my God, was about to be exposed. Mm, mm, mm. I cannot say it on social media because they probably won't even let this video go up. So I'm not, I'm not even gonna put this on Patreon. But anyway, here we have the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. I'm going to say, all I can say is that some people are brought into some kind of a lie. They're brought into a fairy tale about something. Here we have the Queen of Swords. But from now on, you'll be sitting on your throne, carefully vetting your thoughts. From now on, it's about this. you're going to start questioning reality from now on. So here we had a page of pentacles. You're about to feel like you had a whole new lease on life. You're going to feel like you have a whole new lease on life now. But your abundance and your prosperity is about to grow. Your abundance and your prosperity is about to grow. So just sit down and put together your list and start pouring into yourself. Because somebody is spiritually dehydrated right now. So you may find yourself drinking a lot of coffee or like a lot of uh, caffeinated drinks. Because you may feel like, okay, you're just spiritually dehydrated. So drink, a, you know, water, I mean, uh, food with um, high water content. High water content. Mm -hmm. Somebody, see, that person right here got alcohol, got on shades. Just, I mean, a lot of shady energies. I'm telling you, boy, I tell you, this about to end. You're not gonna want to drink alcohol. I don't know. I can't, I can't tell people what they're not gonna do anymore. But you gonna know you from now on. You gonna want a completely clear head. But you are gonna be celebrating something. So you are gonna be celebrating something. You're gonna be celebrating some kind of homecoming. You're gonna be celebrating some kind. Somebody gonna be coming home. 
Somebody's going to be coming home. Whoever you've been praying to come home or come back to you is going to be coming home to you. Um, I don't know who you've been praying for to come to you or come home to you or whatever, but you're going to be praying because... Some clowns are about to un be unmasked and exposed. So 2 and 9 is 11. 11 is a master number, right? 11 is a master number, right? 11 is a master number. So in numerology um, 11, these are pillars are a doorway and they symbolize an initiation, an initiation. Um, to walk through the two pillars and unite active and passive, emptiness and fullness, receptivity and action, all becomes one within you. So it symbolizes getting off the fence, you know, stepping into the light, like becoming enlightened about something, right? Um, the source is saying to you, something went horribly wrong uh, with something, right? And um, as it relates to someone's ex, as it relates to someone's ex, there is a loved one who died as it relates to your ex, Virgo. One of your, one of, hold, let me see how I can word this. Let me see how I can word this. <clears throat> somebody that you talk to, I'm not going to say, obviously, I mean, this is a general reading, right? So somebody that you talk to. had a loved one who died that your ex screwed over horribly, right? So when I say that this is personal, you, you may want to get back in your hermit shell. <laughs> yeah, you may want to get back in your hermit shell, crab shell. And mind your business. Drink your water and mind your business. This is a tower they can't stop. This, this somebody's loved one who transitioned as a result of something they did. So that's all I'm going to say about that. And that person transitioned a long time ago. But your ex did something really, really bad. we got going on here see what else we got going on here so when i say you bought into some kind of fairy tale about something we just they've been they've been yeah you bought into a fairy tale but when you go back into your crab shell and you you know you sit back and think about it you start pouring into yourselves and you start hydrating things hydrating yourself and you start going back to your memory bank and you're working. You know, a lot of downloads are going to come to you, Virgos. Just kind of just going back to your memory and just start thinking and you're going to start journaling and you're going to start remembering some things that your ex said to you and just start saying some things going to start making sense to you. That number seven going to hit you like a lightning bolt. See, because number seven is very powerful. Seven is... um. 
seven, the number seven, the image of a number seven has a horizontal line at the top symbolizing the world above or heaven with a diagonal line reaching um, below signifying or bridging the lower world. Seven also looks like a lightning bolt and it symbolizes lightning insights, intuitive downloads that come out of the blue and it lights up your mind. So seven bridges anything, making connections between ideas and subjects that seemingly have no common ground such as good and evil, light and dark. As a symbol of lightning, it can experience a sudden profound shift in their lives that can take them by total surprise. Y'all need to come offline, stop doing physical research online, looking up stuff, doing background checks. Come off of all of that. You all are mutable signs. You're highly adaptable. You can go within for every answer that you need, Virgo. Come off of all of that gossiping, talking to this person. That all that stuff is toxic. You're further complicating with source the creator is trying to show you. It's already happening. Somebody's ex is about to be, I'm telling you, the lid is about to be popped off. They did something, this is somebody a long time ago. They did something to somebody a long time ago. Yep. This number seven right here. It's all about to make sense. You gonna think that person had a speech impediment? <laughs> hmm. person has been hanging holding on to a lot of anger a lot of frustration you know what's interesting is um what's interesting about the energy is um so many people have given them so many passes you know like feeling sorry for them just basically saying i'm talking about your ex by the way um, has been giving them a lot of passes um, Virgo just basically like you know feeling sorry for them and saying you know like just kind of like justifying that behavior you know how sometimes um, families will say well they feel bad they feel like uh, you know like kind of coddling or covering up that kind of behavior right just kind of cut and it could be a man or woman by the way so remember this is a general reading and we're about to close out this reading but um Yeah. <clears throat> they think everything is a game. Judgment is about to come down. They think everything is a game. The judgment is about to come down. All right. But you'll be leaving them behind. You inspired them to heal. But pray and meditate. You inspired them to heal, but you'll be leaving them behind. Everything in moderation. They have not been completely honest. But see, <clears throat> yeah. Healer and protector of travelers is with you. All right. Uh, first red flag, pray and meditate. What's interesting about them is, where's the card here? 
So somebody's going to be coming home. It's a homecoming here. That's one thing. Somebody's going to be coming home, right? This energy always needs a partner in crime. So this is, this is a, this is, it'll, it'll give you, and remember the devil is crafty, right? So it always looks like it's chained to something else, right? And this is, this is where you're going to have to be. This is why you want to make sure your water is clear. You want to be on your throne, Virgos. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out. Because you want to make sure whoever you've been praying to come back home is not contaminated. Because they have been contaminated by this energy. This energy always needs a partner in crime to play all of these games. And so somebody has been contaminated, right? Um, <clears throat> so you're going to have to educate yourself in learning how to help that energy flush that energy out. Or flush that, that energy out. Um you know, flush that, you know, but somebody never stopped loving you, but things are going to start flushing, I mean, flowing to you like water. Um, mm -mm -mm. Somebody secretly has a crush on you, and even that part is going to be confusing to you, so I don't even want to say too much about that, because then it'd be kind of Again, I can't put everything on social media, but, you know, you have the gift of deja vu. Things are going to start coming back to you. Um, your next love interest will make you happier. So somebody is about to, if you're open to love, that's if you're open to love, it's going to make you a lot happier. But things are starting going to be start becoming clearer and clearer and clearer to you. Time to ground yourself. So get grounded. Get grounded. Get gr I can't even reiterate this enough. Get grounded. Your inner child is very proud of you. Document your dreams day and night. That's why you need to get back in your hermit shell. Close for spiritual maintenance. Shut down for spiritual maintenance. Get on your throne in every element of your life. Get on your throne. Treat yourselves to a spa day. Trust your first mind. Step through your portal. Sacral chakra cleanse flush out all of the toxins in your body do a complete and total detox get focused get focused get laser focused your ancestors have a message it's time to release the burden whatever confusion you had about anybody else whatever confusion you had it's, it's all about to become so clear to you your ancestors are proud of you they're proud of you because the curse is broken because whatever lie somebody's ex has fed to you where you were confused I don't care I can't trust this person I know they gossiping about get all of that out the negativity get it out because it's been them this master manipulator who's been and it could like I said it could be a man or a woman your what is your ex it's your ex I've been mean, keeping a bunch of confusion going on. A bunch of confusion going on. But watch what comes out about them. They prey on people who really don't know their worth. I don't care how much money you make. I don't care what your rank is if you're in the military. I don't care if you are CEO, CFO, COO. I don't care if you have your own company. I don't care if you're a multi-billionaire. We're talking about your self-worth. If you've shown any cracks in your foundation that shows that, you know, do I, how do I look in this dress? You know, how do these shoes look with this, you know, this suit? You know, how does my haircut look? Is, did my barber, you know, line my hair cup up straight? Does this, does this, you know, did I, you know, do, you know, how does this, any, any crack in your foundation is what they prey on, right? You have been worthy to belong to love all along without any need to improve. In fact, you are love itself. That's how they choose their partners in crime, this one. So whoever you've been praying to come back to you is coming back to you. 27, I'm expressive. 2 and 7 is 9. Your mind is wide open. You are tolerant and you're compassionate to all ways of life. You value freedom of expression. You want to improve the conditions of people, whether in your community, country, and the world at large. I think I'm going to put this video up early. And trust and believe they mad at me, but you know I don't care. You know I do not care at all. Trust me, I am covered covered child i am covered <laughs> i am covered so clean your space and make room for a major blessing coming your way 
put together that gratitude list. That's right. Because whatever you've been praying to come back to you, it is coming. It is coming. It is headed your way. It is headed your way. It is headed your way. You're about to switch teams. You're about to switch teams. That's right. That's the frequency I operate on. Frequency of love. A lot of people are not willing to operate on that unless there's some strings attached. When you operate on a frequency of agape love, there is no fear. There's none. Love is an endless well. It always has been. It always will be. I go free to be kind, loving, and courageous. I am so thankful that the relationships in my life greatly exceed my wildest imaginations. Nobody had time to be operating on the spirit of fear. Seven, seven, seven. I'm in the flow. When I say the number seven, it's something about become very clear. Your purpose flows from within you and everything that is unfolding or being revealed to you is part of your purpose. A state of peace and calmness in your soul. These energies like to keep people in the dark about stuff. And when you find stuff out, it happens so fast. It's like lightning fast. Like bam. Like you find out something like real quickly where you don't even have time to even process what you just found out. And you're like, well, wait a minute, hold on. I, what? Spend so much time gossiping and talking about other people, but then when you find out something, you're like, oh, wow. Then after that, you feel like, okay, it's too late. You just now find, found out this and found out that. By that time, something has taken off like wildfire about you. But see, you're about to get delivered from other people's opinions of you. And so vibrating on that frequency. So time to take a breath out. Just breathe out. Take a breath out. Yep. So you can tell on this card right here that it's winter time, right? So get rid of the icy emotions. Get rid of the icy emotions, the anger, the frustration, the icy emotion. I don't get along with this person. I heard about that. Not get away from all of that because this is master. This is master manipulation from shady energies. Get away from all of that. Abundance. There it is. Affirmations for abundance. Abundance is my birthright. There is a piece of pie with my name on it. Say it. Money flows to me easily and freely. I'm attracting everything I need for this season. I let go of what weighs me down. Opportunities align with my purpose surround me. I am true to myself. I am true to myself. I am true to myself. Y'all have so much support. It's not even Virgos. If I could tell y'all, y'all got support from I'm telling you y'all already talked to somebody y'all don't even know who y'all talk to y'all have already talked to somebody who is 100% not 99.9% 100% supportive of you they've already heard what you did not say they can already tell what you were saying without you even saying it you didn't have to give them a name no nothing they can simply tell by what you were saying who you were talking about. Exactly who you were talking about. You didn't even have to get them a name. They knew exactly who you were talking about. They immediately went into making some phone calls. Immediately. They said, when, it, when it's time, can I call you? So, because this, they're they working on this one. People say, yep, you can call me. People got you covered already, Virgos. I already got you covered. That's what I have for you. Hopefully this has been helpful. Um, but yeah, your ex about to be exposed. They about to be exposed so big. They is there is no way. This is and I'm telling you, it's it's because of what they did to somebody a long time. That person not even here. They're not here to defend they're not here in that physical sense anymore, but it's because of what they did to somebody who is no longer here that people are now in full support of like they just they did them foul that's all i can say so um get ready for some kind of a homecoming that's what i have for you i'll see you in the next video bye